Hello there, thank you for choosing to work out with me today. My name is Leah, I'm from Asheville Alice Training, and I am here in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina. This workout today is designed specifically for seniors, and it is my version of a HIT workout for seniors. HIT is an acronym, it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. It's a very effective way to train. However, a lot of times the workouts, which are HIT workouts, involve a lot of very high impact exercises. Things like burpees and push-ups and jumping and things that sometimes a, uh, a more mature body is not going to wanna do. So I have adapted that type of training to suit seniors. Let me just adjust my camera here for a second. And we're gonna work with a timer. 30 seconds to work, 10 seconds to rest, four intervals, and then we rest. You do not need any equipment today, but if you have some light dumbbells, you can bring those along with you. I'm gonna be demonstrating some of the exercises with these three pound dumbbells. Again, they are completely optional. The other thing that I wanna say is, when I take my arms up in the air, if taking your arms in an overhead movement is not okay on your shoulders, which is something that I hear from a lot of my clients, um, then you're gonna keep your arms down low. So if I go high and you need to be here, no problem at all. Just keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, below your shoulders if you need to. I'll remind you of that as we go. Okay, we're gonna start with a high knee punch. So driving, you're gonna drive one knee forward and you're gonna punch with the opposite leg. So drive one knee, punch on the other side, and I'm gonna begin. I'm just bending, when, I, when you see me bend over there, I'm just reaching for my timer. I have a timer rolling on my phone. It's an app called Seconds. It's free, it's awesome, I highly recommend it. Keeps you on track. It keeps me from like, just losing track of where I'm at in my workout. You know, keeps me from maybe like checking a text or um, getting distracted. When it's green, you're going, and when it's red, you're stopping. We have four, three, two, one, and we're in a 10 second rest. Second exercise now, we're gonna do the opposite thing. We're gonna pull the heel up toward the glute. Okay, and I want you to focus on pulling and pull and pull. So a little butt kick right here, 30 seconds. And because it's on a timer, I encourage you to move as quickly or as slowly as you feel you wanna go. So move at your own pace. Don't worry about how many reps you're doing. The goal here is to bring yourself to a state of breathlessness, or just to where if you're kind of talking to a friend, you start to feel like your sentences are a little bit broken. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, okay, here comes one of those overhead movements. We're gonna reach overhead, and we're gonna pull the elbows. So pull like you're taking something from the ceiling and you're pulling it down to the knee. And we're going back to a high knee movement here. Since we're just getting started, I have not added the weights, but when we do this again, I'm gonna give you some options to use those weights. So you can have those nearby if you have those available. Right now I'm film, filming this on April 2nd, 2020, and we are quarantined right now. And so we're doing a lot of workouts, we're doing a lot of live workouts on Facebook. You, if you've been joining me for those workouts, you're gonna recognize these exercises. Okay, this one, we're gonna reach down like you're reaching your dishes out of the dishwasher and take the dish and put it up on a high shelf. Okay, so here to here. And you can rotate your hips and your shoulders. If you play golf or tennis, or you've ever played baseball, to get the power into the ball, you're really kind of using your hips. And right here on this exercise, we're doing the same thing. One more time, quickly switch over to the other side. Reach now low to the opposite side, pivoting with your hips, power through your hips. And I think I promised four rounds, but this one has five. Because this last exercise here, we're doing it on each side, but this is our fifth interval. Low shelf to high shelf, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, okay. 
take an extended rest here. We just did five rounds. We're gonna repeat those again. You can grab weights if you want them. We're gonna do a high knee punch. So I'll just remind you what that looks like. Okay, again, these weights are completely optional. Mine are just three pounds. I'm gonna punch forward and pull. See that little rotation in my arm as well. If rotate, you can also, you can also skip the rotation or just rotate so that your dumbbell is coming straight up towards the ceiling. Okay, extended rest over, and five, four, three, two, and one, and begin. Okay, 30 seconds on that clock, 10 seconds to rest, or just transition in between each exercise. Moving at your own pace, don't worry about keeping up with me, or if you wanna go faster than I am, that's fine. Again, this is something called high intensity interval training, but we are removing the impact. So it's high intensity, low impact. And one more time and bring it down. Now we're gonna do a hamstring curl. And with your weights, if you want them, you can pull and take your heel to your glutes. Three, two, one, begin. From the side, it looks like this. We're gonna really focus on that pull right here. Take your elbows back behind you if you can. Make sure if you're pushing, if you have weights in your hands on this one, make sure they are light. Very light weights right here. Two, three pounds will be fine. We don't want to stress out the front of your shoulder as we push these weights forward. Four, three, two, one. High knee pull down. If you're okay with that overhead movement, you're going to take your arms up. If you're not, you're going to keep them low. We're going to pull from the ceiling. Like you're pulling an imaginary bar or a rope down to your knee. Think of this like you're doing a standing abdominal crunch. Working on balance and agility with this workout as well. Four, three, two, and one, and now we're gonna go low to high. And because I have the weights in my hands this time now, I'm gonna rotate the hips and, and press the weight down. I'm gonna row it up to the chest and press over to the other side. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. I am in my home gym, but you do not need a home gym. All you need is a little bit of space on your floor. And if you have enough space, pause right here, let's take it to the other side. If you have enough space to put a yoga mat down, you have enough space to do this workout. It's also fun to take it outside. We did two rounds. That is our first circuit. Okay, we did it two times. Each circuit we're going to complete two times. Second circuit. Let's see, do we need our weight? We can um, side front back. The next one we really don't need our weights. What you might want to have is something on which you can balance, like a chair, a wall, um, anything like that. I'm going to use, just to demonstrate. I'm just going to use this wooden dowel rod here, but again, if you have a folding chair, that will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to have that over to the side for our balance exercise. I'm going to stash that over there. The first one is a side shuffle tap. And when you do these uh, high intensity interval workouts, they usually have, like after you do your two rounds, you're usually resting for about a minute. So right here, it's okay, perfectly acceptable. In fact, you should feel like in between, like you need a little bit of a rest because we are in stop and go traffic with this type of workout. Okay, we'll talk more about that later. Let's begin for three, two, one. Exercise one, circuit two. 
Side shuffle tap. We go side shuffle tap, side shuffle tap, side shuffle tap. These workouts are fun. I think they're fun. They're kind of dancey. Four, three, two, one. Okay, a non-impact jumping jack. Now, if you're fine, if you want to do some jumping jacks, regular jumping jacks, go for it. Otherwise, follow me. I'm going to step and reach. And you can still put some good intensity into this, just taking that hoppiness out. And if the overhead movement is not great on your shoulders, I want you to keep it down low. Okay, so you can just do this with your elbows below your shoulders. You can hear my breathing. It's a little bit heavy. That's what we want. Again, we're in that stop and go traffic. So we want to work hard, bring ourselves to a little bit of breathlessness and rest. Okay, next exercise. Here's where we're going to use our pole if you need it. Let's stand up nice and tall here. And the leg that is, actually, let's go to the other side. We'll go to the other side. So we'll go here and we're going to lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in. Same side. Lift, hold, five, four, Three, two, one. One more time. Lift and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay right here on this same side. From here, we're going to lift and just hold an isometric hold. That means we're going to hold it right here like a plank. Like a plank is an isometric. You're just holding that contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Flex your foot. And now squeeze like you're squeezing a giant beach ball in between your knees. And three, two, one. Lift and hold it right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the beach ball. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring it back. Okay, my hips are on fire, but my lungs have gotten a little chance to recover from that. Okay, quickly over to the other side. And from here, we're going to lift and hold five, four, three, two, one, back together, back out. Five, four, three, two, one, back in, back out. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it back in, shake that off for a second. We'll bring that leg back out. Now we're going to hold. Hold it right here. Flexing your foot. Squeeze an imaginary beach ball between your knees. Four, three, two, one. Hold right here. Five, four, three, two. Yikes. One. Squeeze the beach ball. Four, three, two, one. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Bring it back in. Okay, from here, take your pull over to the other side, the leg or the chair. Okay, so you might be holding onto a, a folding chair, a piece of furniture. The leg that is closest to your balancing post. I want you to step forward and then we're going to step back. Okay, from another angle, we're going to step forward. Time began just right now and back. Okay, step forward, step back, step forward, step back. Ten seconds. This is called a pendulum lunge and bring it back together. Now you don't have to do a big aggressive lunge. Even going with like a step forward, step back, step forward, step back, three, two, one. Other side, same thing. Pendulum lunge. I believe this is uh, interval eight. Yep. Okay, so this is our eighth interval. Formatted this circuit a little bit differently. All eight exercises. We're gonna repeat them one more time.
three, two, come to your center, shake that off. Perfect, okay, let's do that again. Balance pose goes away. Grab a drink of water if you need one, and we'll repeat that again. Remember that a little break here is acceptable, it's expected. And when you need, when you can push yourself to a place where you need that rest, then you know you've done this type of workout correctly. Okay, and also if you're having fun, if you're having a lot of fun, then you're also doing it correctly. Side to side, shuffle, tap. So we go side, shuffle, tap, side, shuffle, tap. If you can get some good flexion through your uh, hips, knees, ankles, that's great. Everyone ready? Here we go. Round two, circuit two. We have three, I have three circuits for you today, by the way. So we're halfway through already. Set this down. 10 more seconds. Get as low as you can. Three, two, one, non-impact jumping jacks. So your hands can be high. If you need to keep them low, you're gonna jack, you do your jumping jacks out here. Three, two, one, step and pull. Or here to here, or regular jumping jacks if you got it. Really feel that pull, pulling your elbows into your sides. Five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Lateral leg lift, grab your pull, please. We'll start on the opposite side as we started last time. We have a series of things that we're going to do here. All on one side, let's begin. Lift the leg and hold. Four, three, two, one, come on down. I want you to rely on your balance post as little as, as, as possible. Maybe you even don't need it at all. Bring it in and lift for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, shake that off. We're gonna go back out, same side. So sticking here on the same side. So we're gonna lift, we're gonna squeeze an imaginary beach ball between your knees, four, Three, two, now hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and squeeze. Four, three, two, one, hold it out there. Five, four, three, two, last time. Five, four, three, two, time is up. Okay, wiggle that off. We're gonna go over to the other side. Finding your balance pose, standing up nice and tall, zip it up and lift and hold. Four, three, two, one, feet together. Back up, five, four, three, two, one, feet together. Back up, five, four, three, two, one, last time, thank goodness, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Okay, but we won't get too excited. Now we have those lifts and holds. Let's begin those. We're gonna lift, hold, four, three, two, one, squeeze the beach ball, five, four, three, two, one, see if you can pause right there. Four, three, two, one, squeeze the beach ball. Four, three, two, hang on to it. We just have one more hold. Four, three, two, one, and wow, really feeling that in my hips. Okay, 
post on your side chair or nothing at all. This is called a pendulum lunge. We're gonna step forward and then that same leg, you're gonna sweep it back and step back. Okay, you can be doing like a pretty aggressive lunge or maybe you just need to be doing like a step forward, step back, step forward, step back. It's up to you. Well, it's really up to your knees. Maybe not so much up to you. Five seconds. And rest. Same thing, other side. In five, three, one. Here we go. Stepping it out. Eighth interval right here. Last one of this circuit. We're moving on. Just have one more circuit. seconds. Three, two, one, and bring it back. Okay, perfect. Okay, balancing this goes away. You can grab a drink of water if you need one, and this is our extended rest. We're going to take at least 40 seconds here more just to recover and bring your heart rate down a little bit. Okay, the next round, we have four exercises. <clears throat> the first one is like a little swivel. So we're gonna come from, from your center, you're gonna step diagonally and diagonal. Okay, diagonal step, diagonal step. A little fancy, try and get your shoulders straight ahead, but let your hips rotate. Okay, so the hips are rotating, shoulders straight ahead, just like that. You can also be a little more aggressive with that, like this. Okay? Okay, let's start with that one. Everyone ready? Four, three, two, one, begin. Last round, last circuit, diagonal step, diagonal step, letting your hips rotate and swivel. Try and keep your shoulders straight ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna come into a plank now. So I want you on your forearms, flat on the floor, or if you have an elevated surface like a piece of furniture available to you, you can take that piece of furniture, you can put your forearms on it, and come into a plank position like so. Let me give you another angle on that, it looks like this. Or you can be flat down on the floor, okay? Everyone ready? Here we go. I'm gonna demonstrate this flat on the floor. We're here, nice straight tall plank. Just again, just another isometric hold. Even though we're not moving, this should feel really intense. And like your heart rate is up, you might feel sweat dripping down the backs of your arms here. Keep rolling, and actually that's it. Okay, time is up. Okay, carefully come up. That's part of the exercise. Shaking that off. Next one, we're gonna do a little fast feet, kind of like um, like you're like in the uh, I don't know, football training camp. Okay, so I just want you to shift your weight back and forth onto the balls of your feet. Just go at a pace you can handle. And that's it. You might even go faster or slower. You have 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Next one we're going to do is push ups. And I want you to be either, you can try these on your, I mean, some people can do full push ups. If you can do full push ups, great. If not, join me. I want you to be on your knees. Holding plank here is also acceptable. If you're game for some push-ups, we should try some push-ups from your knees. 
We're going to inhale down, exhale back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Back to the top, we're almost done. We have that diagonal step. So you'll be facing forward, shoulder straight ahead. Here we go, diagonal step and center. A little more aggressive of a movement. Looks like this, getting a little lower, moving a little faster. Work within your challenging comfort zone. Five seconds, three, two, one, back down, plank, you're going to be on a piece of furniture, tall arms, forearms, okay, a little bit elevated, if you have that elevation, makes these a less, less intense, three, two, one, here we go, all in a plank, hold 30 seconds if you can, stretch and rest if you need to, not if you want to, but if you need to, good, pull that tummy in, try to avoid sticking your butt up in the air. Definitely avoid any kind of sagging, okay? If you have your butt up in the air, it's fine. I mean, you know, it's not gonna be as effective, but it won't hurt you. Sagging, though, will hurt you. So if you're gonna err on one side, be on the side of having your butt up in the air. Next one, take your time here getting up. Don't worry, I'm gonna rewind that in that um, 10 second rest. Take your time, we have our fast feet, we're in football training camp here. And we're just gonna shift our weight back and forth on the balls of your feet. Ready, here we go. Okay, we'll spin around in a circle a little bit. Spin around the other way. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and our grand finale set of push ups. Here's another version for you um, from your piece of furniture if you want. You can do an elevated incline push up like so. That works really well for a lot of my clients. Otherwise, if you're going bare bones here, you're on the floor, knees are down, full push ups are fine if you've got them. I certainly work with a lot of seniors who can rock out some push-ups. Believe me. We're almost done. We have 10 more seconds. And rest. Awesome, you guys. Very good. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was fun for you. I definitely had fun with that. I love that kind of workout. Um, so there it is, our high intensity but low impact interval training. Join me for more, check in, uh, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. It's free, give me some love, and I'll see you soon.